I'm Eric George with the Building Performance Group, and I'm here with Tony Tingle from Sanctuary Homes. And we're out in Elk Creek Ridge in Taylorsville, Kentucky, uh, at a house that Tony's finishing building right now. And we're doing the final inspection for the Energy Star Homes um, certification. Tony's going to tell a little bit about what went into the house to make an Energy Star, and then we're going to show you the final test that we're going to do to see how tight uh, and efficient the house is. So Tony, why don't you tell us a little bit what, what you did. Well, Eric, this is a 1,600 square foot house on the first floor. It's three bedroom, two bath. And then we also have another bedroom in the basement. Uh, there's about 900 square feet finished in the basement. Uh, we really go to great pains when we're uh, roughing in the house, making sure on our window insulation, our door insulation, do the foaming around the windows and doors, all of the air sealing in the corners. Uh, really take a lot of pains to make sure that this house is airtight. Uh, also on our insulation, instead of doing the standard fiberglass insulation, we are doing the blown-in bath, which is a cellulose product. Uh, we feel it gives us a lot better uh, performance package. And you also did a high-efficiency heat pump on this house. Exactly. Uh, under Energy Star, uh, some of the standards are kind of raising the bar a little bit, and this is a 15-sear heat pump, all electric. And uh, we found that the, in this area, since we don't have natural gas, it's uh, a little bit better performer for us. Good. Good deal. Well, we're going to go ahead and set up the blower door system and see how tight the house is. Then we'll seal off all the duct work and test the duct system, uh, check the attic, check some other things, and see how you did. All right. Let's get to it. Great. Uh, 840, looks like right at 840 CFM, so I mean, that's a third of a CFM per square foot. That's really tight. So we just got run, done running the blower door test and we found about 840 CFM of air leakage in this house and for a 2500 square foot house that's pretty darn good. Um, what I got here are some plastic duct covers and I'm going to go around and cover each one of the supply and return ducts with these and then I'm going to hook up the duct blaster which is that right there uh, to the heat pump downstairs and we're going to figure out how much duct leakage we have in the house um, relative to outside. So I'm going to go ahead and cover up some of the registers here. So now we're downstairs at Tony's house and I've got the duct blaster system hooked up to the heat pump. I've got all the duct work sealed off and what I got to do now is use the blower door upstairs to depressurize the house again and whatever air leakage comes into the house and then gets into the duct system, I'm going to balance it back out with the duct blaster and it'll actually tell me, quantify, how much duct leakage is leaking out of this system. So I'm going to run upstairs to turn on the blower door, and I'll be right back to do this. So we got the blower door set up upstairs, all the duct work sealed off, and I've come back downstairs, and the duct blaster is actually reading zero duct leakage to the outside, so that's an excellent job for Tony. Um, I'm going to basically sh shut this thing down, uh, record, the, record the duct leakage, and go up in the attic, get the uh, check the attic insulation, get the model numbers off the water heater and the heat pump, and uh, we'll wrap up here pretty shortly. So we're done wrapping up the Energy Star final inspection at Tony's house out here in Taylorsville, Kentucky, and we found that the air leakage was substantially tight. The duct work had zero duct leakage. Uh, the insulation in the attic looked great, 12, 13 inches of cellulose. So um, all in all, the great, another great house. Congratulations on another Energy Star certified home. Um, Eric, I appreciate that. Uh, just thanks to a lot of the subs, I uh, put a lot of hard work into making this program work. Uh, you know, the good thing about, Eric, I think about the Energy Star program is something that allows us as builders to constantly look at what we're doing, uh, constantly challenges us to do a better job, and uh, just glad to be a part of that program. I'm glad to have you as a client. Thanks, Thank Tony. You.